friends welcome to my channel today i gonna tell you about the rotating magnetic field and its generation or the generation of the rotating magnetic field so first of all we'll see about the rotating magnetic field definition what is a rotating magnetic field actually the name indicates the rotation of the magnetic field so we'll speak about the definition of the rotating magnetic field in a three phase induction motor inside three phase induction motor magnetic fields are present and these magnetic fields rotated constant fields such type of magnetic fields are called rotating magnetic fields the magnetic fields which rotates at a constant speed inside the three phase induction motor are called the rotating magnetic fields what is a constant speed ma'am it should have a constant speed na so what is a constant speed you will ask now this is a, the constant speed what is the constant speed ns is equals to 120 f by v what is f it is a frequency what is p it is a number of poles present in it now it is a simple diagram for the rotating magnetic field in which we have taken the inner what is the inner point it is the main shaft and it is outer part is called the stator and the rotating part is called the rotor it is connected to a three phase ac supply and here the cross indicates the out stopping current dot indicates the coming currents okay so in this we can observe that these currents are incoming coming and outgoing in this form like here it is started and here it is ending so it is in this form so the direction of the flux is in the middle direction so it is in coming in the form of like this now so the direction will be from the middle like db and here also it is like this now so the direction of the flux is b1 and here we can observe that it is like this form so here it is like a pr form so we have considered the three main fluxes in this now when we give three phase ac supply current is induced and current flows through right hand thumb rule where thumb is a magnetic flux direction and three phase difference is an angle of 120 degrees Mm, I have shown you here that the current flux will do move in this direction. Here, that is the simplest diagram of this. It is B dash B, and I have represented it all. And uh, here, uh, by using our Fleming's uh, right hand rule, we can here thumb indicates the magnetic flux direction, whereas the fingers indicates the flowing current through it. Okay, by using right hand thumb rule, we can do denote this. and what is the angle between the each flux is 120 degrees when rotor rotates magnetic flux also rotates as a rotor is in the form of the magnetic flux direction so magnetic flux also rotates that is magnetic field rotation takes place and we know that the formula uh, flux is equals to b a where Uh, it is directly we can observe that a flux is directly proportional to the magnetic field generated okay we know that the formula i is equals to i m sin theta so here for the flux flux is equals to flux of the magnetic medium then to sin theta now as we have considered the three values like r y b so we will write the formula for three of them like uh, uh flux of r is equals to pi m sin theta as here we can observe that it is a three angle here we can have 120 degrees first of all okay here r this is b this is y not then if we take from b to y it is like 2 what uh, first the theta is theta and here we consider the overall like 120 and here the overall circle we consider it as 240 these are the degrees calculations of the ryb now similarly we can note for the each of them which is uh, pi y is equals to a uh, pi m sin of theta minus 120 and phi b is equals to pi m into sin of theta minus 240 this is a phasor diagram that we have denoted from the three of them okay next we will see about the Yeah, here we have got the different angles, Nana. So now we will see only for one angle to check whether it is correct or wrong. You can also do for thirty degrees, one twenty degrees, sixty degrees, one eighty degrees also. So first, in case one we have considered for zero degrees, theta is equal to zero degrees. Then 
we calculate for phi r value phi uh, phi r value phi y value phi b value okay so phi r is sin 0 is 0 na da so phi r is equals to 0 phi m is equals to what is the value of sin 120 it is root 3 by 2 minus root 3 because it is theta minus 120 so we calculate phi y is equals to minus phi m root 3 by 2 okay what is phi b value phi m sin of theta minus 240 is minus phi m sin of 120 minus minus equals to plus so y phi b is equals to phi m root 3 by 2 now we have calculated the fluxes of 3 that is r y b now this phasor diagram shows the what we have calculated above this is 0 degrees degrees and this is 190 180 270 and phi r is 0 phi y is minus phi m root 3 by 2 but in opposite direction we will take then it is a positive value and here the third phi, uh, phi b is phi m root 3 by 2 these three values we will consider now and we will from this diagram we can observe that we will get a phasor like this it's a v shape and we produce to a long projection and we will give it as a point ea now we can observe that uh, phi r is equal to um, uh, a d actually a d what is the phi r value a d what is actually the phi r means phi r means the rotation flux what is that rotation flux well, from this figure we can observe that phi r is equal to o a and o d so which is nothing but 2 o d by uh, seeing this 2 o d form we can uh, write it as opposite side by hypotenuse we can know the formula so 2 ob cos theta here the theta value is 30 degrees we will consider in this form so 2 into phi m root 3 by 2 into cos 30 phi m root 3 into what is the cos 30 value root 3 by 2 root 3 into root 3 root 3 whole square whole square cancel then is a 3 value so 3 by 2 what is the value of 3 by 2? If we divide 3, it is 1.05, then it is 1.5 now. So, phi r is equal to 1.5 phi m. This is the important form of the fluxes. Rotational flux is equal to the 1.5 times of the mag magnetic flux generated. Here we can observe the notations. This is all about the generation of the rotating magnetic flux and uh, please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i will also keep the videos on electrical installation fourth chapter of the bwe and fifth chapter etc everything i'll keep for you i've also uploaded the videos of the tax with characteristics and also the working of the dc machine so don't forget to watch that videos also thank you friends